Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. 7 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 minus 5 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 is equal to 240. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This 7 can be written as 6 plus 1 and this 5 can be written as 6 minus 1. So, we write this expression as 6 plus 1 over x plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus we write this expression as 6 plus 1 over x minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 240. Now, here we have 6 plus 1 over x and here we have 6 plus 1 over x. So, we suppose that let 6 plus 1 over x is equal to, we substitute m in this equation, then this will become m plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 240. Now, this m plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 minus this m minus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m minus 1 whole squared and the whole to the power 2 is equal to 240. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared plus 2ab. This uh, m plus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus uh, 1 plus 2 times m whole squared. This square will come here minus by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2 a b. This m minus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus 1 minus 2 times whole to the power this power 2 will come in is equal to 200 40. Now, here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have 2m, here we have 2m. So, we suppose that let a is equal to m squared plus 1 and b is equal to 2 times m. So, this equation will become a plus b whole squared minus a minus b whole squared is equal to 240. Now, by using this algebraic identity, this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus by using this algebraic identity, this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab equal to 240. Now, we remove brackets a squared plus b squared plus 2ab due to this minus this positive a squared will become negative a squared and this positive b squared will become negative b squared. This negative 2 a b will become plus 2 a b is equal to 240. Now, this negative a squared will be cancelled out with this positive a squared. This negative b squared will be cancelled out with this positive b squared. 
in this way 2ab plus 2ab will become 4ab is equal to 240. From here we divide both sides by 4. So, this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and uh, the left hand side we are left with the a times b is equal to 240 divided by 4 is 60. Now, recall that Recall that A is equal to m squared plus 1 and B is equal to 2 times m. Recall that A is equal to m squared plus 1 B is equal to 2 times m. So, this equation will become m squared plus 1 times 2 times m is equal to 60. Now, 2 m times m squared 2 m cube and 2 m times 1 plus 2 m is equal to 60. Now, from these two terms we can factor out 2. In back left m cubed plus m is equal to 60 and from here we divide both sides by 2. So, these two will be cancelled out with this 2 and at left hand side we are left with the m cubed plus m is equal to 60 divided by 2 30. Now, we move this 30 to the left hand side this will become m cubed plus m minus 30 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed plus m minus this 30 can be written as 27 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, because this 27, 27 is same as 3 cubed. So, we write this 27 with this m cubed. So, this equation will become m cubed minus 27 plus m minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus this 27 can be written as 3 cubed plus m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. This uh, m cubed minus uh, 3 cubed will become m minus 3 times m squared plus uh, 3 times m plus 3 squared are 9 and from these two terms we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this m minus 3 and this m minus 3 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 3 and in bracket left in bracket left this m squared plus 3m plus 9 and this plus 1 in bracket left m squared plus uh, 3 times m plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. x m minus 3 times m squared plus 3 times m this 9 plus 1 will become 10 is equal to 0. From here is this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 3 times m plus 10 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 3. From this equation according to quadratic formula m is equal to negative 3 
plus minus square root of in place of b we write 3 square minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 10 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 next m is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of this 3 squared will become 9 negative 4 times 1 times 10 negative 40 divided by 2 times 1 2 next m is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 40 is negative 31 divided by 2 next m is equal to negative 3 plus minus this the square root of negative 31 can be written as a square root of 31 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 next m is equal to negative 3 plus minus the square root of 31 this the square root of negative 1 is i divided by 2 and first we found the value of m m is equal to 3 and to find the values of x recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 6 plus 1 over x is equal to m we have supposed that uh, 6 plus uh, 1 over x is equal to m so when m is equal to 3 then this equation will become 6 plus uh, 1 over x is equal to 3 we move this 6 to the right hand side then this will become 1 over x is equal to 3 minus 6 and 1 over x is equal to negative 3 and if we take a reciprocal on both sides then this implies that uh, x is equal to negative 1 over 3 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of uh, this equation now when m is equal to this expression then this equation will become 6 plus uh, 1 over x is equal to negative 3 plus minus root 31 i divided by 2 we we'll move this 6 to the right hand side then 1 over x will be equal to negative 3 plus minus root 31 times i divided by 2 and this uh, positive 6 will become negative 6 next 1 over x is equal to we can write the denominator of this 6 1 and we take LCM of this 2 and this 1 LCM of 2 and 1 is 2 so this expression will come here negative 3 plus minus uh, root 31 i minus uh, this 2 divided by 1 2 2 times this 6 negative 12 next 1 over x is equal to this negative 3 and negative 12 will become negative 15 plus minus root 31 times i divided by 2 if we take a reciprocal on both sides then this implies that x is equal to 2 divided by negative 15 plus minus root 31 i this is the second and third value of x so we have uh, three solutions of uh, this equation